welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel, family. And today, 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 y'all. Y'all, today, um, I just left church service. It was awesome, awesome, awesome as always. It was awesome as always. And I am just so, so blessed, so blessed to be able to have a wonderful church home to go to, a wonderful and loving church family. I am so blessed, so blessed. Y'all just don't understand how blessed I am. And I don't take nothing for granted because no matter what, you know, you need a church home to go to. You need a church to belong to. And you know, back in the day, I always been a church girl, always. You know, I ain't never really just committed myself to a church, you know. I have tried to, uh, I have tried, I'm, I, I'm, I ain't gonna say that I haven't, but I went to several different churches and, you know, I had a grandmother that was, you couldn't tell her anything. Everything I learned about a lot of stuff came from her and, you know, her making me go to church, even when she couldn't go. She sent me right on up out that door to go to church and I'm so grateful that she did that for me because it is it is so great to have that you know that feeling of you knowing the Lord you know knowing his word you know it don't matter how long you have been in church it is something for you to learn it don't matter how many times you read that Bible it is something for you to learn and to go and get a perfect understanding of the word you need to go and find you a church. You ain't got to commit or belong to a church, but find you a church, you know, get that understanding that you need because y'all, God is good. God is good and worthy to be praised. And it be days I read my word. It be days that I don't understand. And it be days, and I tell you, when I get to worship on Sunday morning, it just all come to me just like that. And when you have a great leader that lead by example, teaches that word, apply the word, everything. When you have a great leader like I have, I have a wonderful pastor, true man of God. Like I said, lead by example. He teaches, he preaches, he does everything. He will not ask you to do nothing that he will not do. And, and and that's and that's what's so great about finding that type of church, you know, because you want. I have been to several churches. I never ever met the pastor. I never met the first lady, or if you do meet them, they just like wave at you or something like that. It's never face to face, shake hands, give a hug. It's never that. But I tell you, my church. My pastor and first lady, they go and they try to greet every member, new members especially. When new members come, they go and greet them first, you know. And I love that about them because they love everybody, you know. And it's not something that you just want to take for granted, like, you know, that much as they do for you i'm telling you when i was down and out when i was going through my situation if it wasn't for them y'all i don't know what i would would have done i'm i'm gonna just straight up being honest with y'all i don't know what i would have done you know the prayers and the encouragement you know and just everything that they did for me they did so much for me but the prayers, the prayers, y'all, man, I tell y'all, that's the one thing I am a firm believer in, and that's prayer. And can't nobody tell me prayer don't work. You cannot tell me. I don't care how bad, how hard you try to, you cannot. And I know it. I know it. I knew it before. You know, that's why I knew when I felt that moment of my son being shot, the first thing to me was I need to pray. 
nobody is going to represent me and nobody is going to be there to make me feel at peace that the situation is at hand. The situation is going to be okay. Nobody but God. God is going to bring you that peace. He's going to bring you the peace that you need. And he's going to lift you up. And I'm so thankful for that. I am so thankful. But y'all, I, I have been getting... Uh, first of all, I also want to thank my LJC family for all the love and support. I thank all my family members who have joined, new, and... I thank all of my family members, every last one of them. If we've been family for a long time, I thank y'all. I thank y'all because like I told y'all before, y'all are no longer subscribers. Y'all are my family. And I am so grateful for y'all. And I just thank y'all because y'all give me really what people fail to realize is when I get on, when I when I make videos and I get on my YouTube and, I, and social media or whatever, and I speak and I talk. This is so refreshing and peaceful to me. This is like therapy talking to y'all because I can express my emotions. I can express, you know, my feelings and I can express so much because really to be honest with you, I'm not a people person. I am very shy. And when I talk in front of people, I get nervous. It feel like needles and stuff is sticking me through my head it is it's terrible y'all it's terrible but i just kind of want to jump into this video real quick before i'm you know before i don't want to get the video to go too too far but you know i love that there are people out there that really listen to you really take you serious you know they not somewhere saying oh she bored you know because everybody got a message everybody has a testimony everybody can help somebody i'm not just the only one on this platform that has stories and that can help somebody it's plenty of us on there you're gonna listen to who you're gonna listen to you're gonna respect who you're gonna you're gonna subscribe to who you want to subscribe to but at the end of the day i'm blessed because you know what no matter how long it takes for me to be able to build up my platform to be where I want to be God is gonna allow me to get there I'm gonna patiently wait on him and nothing else or no one can stop me from you know what I what I want and this is my goal this is one of my main goals you know is to become a content creator is to become a youtuber and if it doesn't happen Matter of fact, I'm not going to say it's not going to happen because I'm speaking in, in existence and I know it's going to happen. It's just going to take time. It's going to take for me to be more serious, you know, because it's so much that I do in a day to where it's like, dang, I didn't put a video out. And then I'm putting out garbage, you know, or I'm putting out something that y'all don't want to see. I'm not putting out stuff that y'all would love. So it's a lot on me. It's me, 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 me. So... I just want to thank my um, followers on um, my family members on um, Instagram because they engage a lot, a lot. They ask me a lot, y'all. They ask me a lot. But right now, like I said, I'm not this big channel. I'm not able, you know, I don't do name drops. I probably have dropped names before, but I try not to drop no names. I try to be respectful to everybody. It's a lot of stuff that people ask me that they want me to create content and do videos because I do story time. That's my channel. Story and family time with just Jeanette. That's my channel. I do a lot of story time. And, you know, that's just what I do. And they ask me so many different things. But I tell y'all, this one thing people have been asking me and I said I wasn't going to do it. I said I wasn't going to do it because I'm so tired of the same thing over and over, but I know how it is. I, I see content creators. I watch YouTube 24 hours a day. You know, majority of my time I'm watching YouTube, watching YouTube, trying to get, the, you know, look to see, dang, one day, one day, you know, I don't never want to be like nobody else. I always want to be like myself, 
but they encourage me as well, you know, Donna, do what you need to do and do it right, you know, take your time and do stuff. You know, I need to start setting some, some goals out for me, start setting some, you know, times for me so that I can record and I can do what I need to do. But it seemed like every time I get ready to, um, do my recording something come up and then i look up it's dark and then i'm getting off and then it's getting dark and i'm trying to you know it's just so much going on but i am gonna make time because i feel like this is my job too and there's no need for me to be putting it off and give not giving it my best because i got to give it my best but all of my family members i just like i said they have y'all have been asking me and i'm gonna start once i hit a thousand subscribers i'm gonna most definitely start giving shout outs and you know i'm gonna start engaging more because i don't want people coming on my platform thinking oh that's just something she made up everything i have ever told y'all is something that i didn't been through something i have been through nobody else you know so nobody can't tell my story better than me the book has already been rolled, but there's more chapters to go. And nobody can go and take chapters out of my book but me, you know? And why would I want to go and take chapters out of my book? Because this is the stuff that happened to me in my life. And I got to move. I got to keep going. Like Pastor say, we can't allow the devil to have us thinking that we can't move. We can't go forward, you know. And and I like that what he said today because it made it made so much sense of what I have been going through in life. You know, your decisions will hurt you at the end of the day if you don't pray and ask God to guide you before you make any type of decisions. And I realized that. And I'm so grateful because my heart has been so forgiven. My, my, I mean, I have just, it took me all these months to, y'all have been asking me to do this video and I'm gonna try to do it real quick and I'm gonna be quick and I'm gonna try to get it out the way because y'all really have been asking me to do this. And I have told y'all my relationship status. I have told y'all I'm divorced. I have told y'all. You know, I have tried to talk to y'all about my exes, what I've been through, you know, being in an abusive relationship, you know, being molested as a child. I have tried to tell y'all everything so that y'all can get to know me. I have tried to tell y'all everything. I try to let y'all know I don't try to hold on to things, but it was some things that I never wanted to talk about. But y'all continue to ask me and I'm going to go ahead and let y'all really feel from my heart how I feel about the situation. And y'all wanted to know, how do I really feel about my ex? Well, my ex-husband, y'all wanna know. So I'm gonna give it to y'all. I'm gonna give it to y'all straight up. We had went through some situations. Situation happened, we got a divorce. At the beginning, I was, I was hateful, I was mean. I just didn't want to accept nothing. I didn't want to think about nothing. I didn't want to talk about nothing. I didn't want to see him. I didn't want to be in his presence. I didn't want to talk to him. I was just so frustrated. I was so angry and I just took in so much. And as the walk that I'm taking, you got to forgive and move on. And it took so much for me all of that stuff built up and one day my pastor asked me donna do you forgive yourself you know did you no 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 i take that back did you ask god for forgiveness so i'm just like in this whole situation i ain't did nothing i did nothing why do i have to ask god for forgiveness for the situation that me and him went through and it, and it took me, it took me a long time, but through prayer and understanding and my pastor talking to me and, you know, guiding me through some things, them being there for me, them praying and everything, it led up to me understanding. And I asked God for forgiveness because sometimes you got to look at it when the situation moves forward, everybody not going to last forever. Everybody not going to be together forever. I know it's some people out there 
that has. And there's some people that love their spouse so much, nothing or no one can come in between them. It's all of that that goes on when you're married. It's so much to take in. But I was so angry. And I really wanted the world to know, you know, how I felt and how he treated me and how he did me. But at the end of the day, you know, it was just out of anger that I wanted that situation to happen. It was it was out of so much in my heart that I wanted people to feel my pain. Why did I want people to feel my pain? One thing I didn't want people to do is feel sorry for me. That's one thing I never want people to do in never in my life have I ever told a story, said something or done something for somebody to feel sorry for me. I do not ever, 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 ever want somebody to feel sorry for me. All I want people to do is hear me out. When I was in pain, so many people, you know, said they had my back. So many people was there for me. That, I'm not going to lie. Not there for me like that. But, you know, like, I don't know, you know, hey, this has happened. Move on. Quit thinking about it. But you don't understand. When you've been with somebody so long, so long, we spent two decades and some together. And then you think that I'm supposed to do like the other person and drop everything, all my feelings and you know, make things seem like I'm just this big, strong person. No, I'm not. You know, that you know, I, I love the song that we sing sometimes. It's not it's it's a it's a very familiar song to me. I don't quite know the whole song and I might not sing it right. Or but you know, it's it's that song, you know, when they be saying, um, let the uh let the poor say I am rich and let the weak say I am strong. You know, so you have to speak these things. People will look at you a certain way when they feel like you're weak. You you just you just nothing. And I feel like in my relationship, I did a lot. I did a lot. And not far as you know, just doing, you know, financially doing, you know, I felt like I'm going to tell y'all, I loved him more than I love myself. I'm not going to even lie. I love this man more than I love myself. Have I lost love for him? No, I still love him. But I don't love him in a way as I'm in love with him. You know, because time heals all wounds. So with that time that we have had apart, I don't, I'm not in love with him no more. When if everything first happened, yes, I still was in love with him. I hated to see him with, with the other person. I hated to see his face. I hated to be in his presence. I hated to hear his voice. But that was because I was still in love with him. I was still, I could have turned, if I could, if things could have turned around and we could have been back together, I would have accepted everything he did. I would have accepted everything that took for it, I would have accepted to work it out just because I can be with the person that I love, the person that I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with. So I don't know if y'all quite understand that. If you ain't never been in love with someone and that love is genuine, when I tell you it's real, it's not something that I woke up in the morning and said, okay, I love him. It's none of that. I loved him. We, you know, we was friends from the start. We got to know each other. So, you know, we know everything about each other. I learned so much about him. He learned so much about me. My family is his family. His family is my family. And with him not giving his all to me, you know, I still was in, I still was in love with him, even though everything we went through. But I don't want to speak bad of him because he's a very good person. He is. Just because he did what he did to me, that doesn't mean he's a bad person. I wanted to paint him out to be the bad person. I wanted to paint him out. But who am I to say he's a bad person? Who am I to judge him? One thing I do know, he loved my kids. He'll do anything in the world for the grandkids. He'll do anything that he can. If he can do it, he will do it. Now, he don't have to do anything for me. Who and me? I was just your wife. I was just somebody, you know, we was just together. But when it comes to those kids, it's a whole different 
situation it is his is his it's a whole different thinking in him he's a whole different person when it comes and that's kind of what still makes me have love for him because the love that he had for my kids and he's not the biological father but he's been in my kids life my son was about to be two when he uh my youngest son was about to be two when we when we first got together and he loved my kids with everything in him for him to be with me for 24 years you know, everything, whenever he had the chance, he was a big support for them. He was a big support. When they need to talk, he's a big support. You know, I know we can't change who we are. I know we can't be who other people want us to be. But at the end of the day, when it comes to him loving my mother, loving my sisters and brothers, nieces and nephews, he has. He has done that. He never showed me a difference. But the love that he had for me that's totally different you know that's when he lose that love for me it's lost you know because i'm not like his main thing you know you got the love that he had for me he got to share it with somebody else in the same way with me but one thing about me i will never give up my love because i loved him you know i loved him for 24 years i loved him i never stepped out on him I never cheated on him. I never got close enough to another person to lose love for him. You know what I'm saying? I never, you, I, 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 I worked at a retail store where millions of people come in there every single day. Y'all know how big Walmart is. There was so many men. There was so many people coming at me telling me how beautiful I am. You know, trying to throw throw money at me, trying to trying to say I buy you this, I take you out to dinner. But see, one thing what people don't know about me, I'm not a materialistic person. I don't care what kind of car you drive. I don't care how much money you got in your pocket. I don't care about none of that. The only thing I care about is do you love me? How can you love me? Can you respect me? Can you be loyal to me? Can you be there for me when I need you to be there when nobody else can be there? That's what I care about. I don't care about your pockets, what you got on, what kind of shoes you got on, how you look. None of that matters to me. None of that. Because I'm not saying I'm the most beautiful person in the world. I'm not saying that I'm the slimmest person in the world. You know, there is men out here that love for women, show off their body. There's men out here that want women to have 10,000 pounds of makeup on and look according to a whole different person and then when they go take all that makeup off their whole i don't i i that all of that stuff right there that's not for me when i love all all i want is love respect loyalty and somebody to be there to for me and when you can if you can show me all of them things i'm gonna love you to i can't love you no more even if you break it i'm gonna still love you i'm gonna still love you and my promise was when I committed to him and said my vows, even before I committed, I, I had already, all of this stuff I was already doing. It didn't matter to me. Men came in that store looking, woo, when I tell you, I didn't see every kind of man from celebrity looking to thug looking to church looking, all kind of men. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, y'all, I didn't seen it all. And it ain't not now one of them didn't come up to me and try. I had a man come in the store for a whole year. A whole year. He was a big time drug dealer or whatever. It, I don't care of your money. I don't care how you get your money. I don't care where you come from, what you got, or what you can do for me. That doesn't matter to me. You cannot make me fall for you. I don't care about all of that stuff. It, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day... Once it's gone, it's gone. But love, you cannot lose love. People say it all the time. And I had somebody that I talked to the other day. They inboxed me and they was asking me a whole lot of different questions. And they was just like, wow, you know, this really broke my heart that you and him are no longer together. Because y'all was a perfect couple. I looked up to y'all and I was just like, dang, one day I want to find somebody like that. Just one day I want to find somebody. I want to find someone that i could share so many years with someone that loves each other you don't play about him and he don't play about you and that's just how it was 
You can't come tell me something negative about him and I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to disagree with you all the time, whether if you're right or you're wrong. So, y'all, we have to make sure that everything that we do in life, we are doing it according to, you know, ourselves. We got to do it for ourselves first before we do it to someone else. Because now that I'm not in a relationship, I'm not focused on no man, I'm not focused on nothing, I learn myself. I learn who I am, what I like, what I like to eat, what I like to do, what I like to... um look like how i like to be and me i'm not the type of person i'm not a dress up person i'm not a makeup person i'm just a casual ca casual person where i just like to be comfortable and when it's time for me to go get up do whatever i need to do and go i'm, I'm not for all of that stuff and it doesn't take anybody in their right mind to just say okay well, I have seen Donna do. When I was younger, yeah, I wanted to do all of that stuff. I wanted to do all of that. But once I started having kids, none of that mattered to me anymore. Now, I know my life had to be focused on my kids. It, it wasn't focused on me. And it is so crazy because you love your kids so much. And then when you find a partner that you want to share that love from, from your kids, you know, you find that special someone and you hold on to them. And just because... You know, we go through what we go through. People going to look at us. People going to say millions of things. People still walk up to me today and tell me, uh-uh, that's not true. I can't believe y'all are not together. Yes, we're not together. And I'm not going to blame him. I'm not just most definitely not blame me. It was just time that we didn't, we, we just, I wasn't just the one for him anymore. He wanted something else. He wanted to be with something else. But I tell y'all. I would have loved him for the rest of my life. I would have made sure, like me, I'm the type of female, you know, is he good? Is his health good? I want you safe. I don't care for all of that other type of stuff. You know, he likes a club. I'm a church girl. I ain't never liked a club. Even when I got with him, I, I didn't meet him at a club. I did. I met him at a club, but I wasn't a club girl. I was just going out just to hang out with my friends. I was never a club girl. But, you know, just at the point in time of me trying to get to know him, you know, I wasn't trying to get to know 50 million and one men when I met him. I was just coming out of a bad relationship. And when I met him, you know, he just kind of stole my heart right off just the way he was. But then, you know, time go on and different things happen, but it didn't matter. We got through everything that we went through. We just couldn't get through this. We just couldn't get through this. You know, it was over. Our time, our season had in. But I'm not going to continue to down him on my platform. I'm not going to continue to say he's not a good person. I'm not going to continue to do that. You know, he might, to me, he wasn't good to me. But for my kids, my grandkids, my family, and he's, he's, he's great. He's great to them. He'll do anything in the world for them. Anything in the world he'll do for them. I don't care what nobody say when my kids call, he coming. When they need him, he coming. When my son got shot in the head, he was there. From the beginning to the end, he was there. So I'm not going to down talk him on my platform. He is really a good person when it comes to him being what he, what he is. But my thing is this. It wasn't, he wasn't good for me. He hurt me. He didn't hurt nobody else. Everybody else was just shocked at what, how the situation was. They couldn't believe it. That's all that was. But the way that he hurt, the way that he, he didn't hurt me, he broke me. Because I wasn't just somebody that was dating him or somebody. I was with this man for years. So he broke me. He broke me down to my lowest. And I tell y'all, I was at my lowest. I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't eat. I couldn't look around, not thinking about him without crying. My heart, anytime, if I'm in a bathtub, I'm in a shower, I'm just, anytime I felt his presence, I cried. Every time. But you have to move on from that because, you know, loving someone like that is dangerous because you literally kill yourself. You literally kill, your, you kill yourself. But, you know, I can't never say 
that, you know, like, anyway, like I say, I don't want to bash him on my platform. I don't want people to think he's a bad person. First, I was angry. I did all of that out of anger. I did a lot of stuff because I was hurt. I was hurt and I wanted other people to feel my pain. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. And I'm very thankful and grateful that, you know, I did meet him. He was in my life. We enjoyed life as we did. We shared so much together. You know, even a child, you know, we share. She didn't make it to live to see the earth, but she she was was born. She was formed. And, you know, I, I really am grateful for that, you know, but you know, time goes on, you know, it's, 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 it's time goes on, but it's not, I don't care what, what has happened. If he ever need me, I will be there. I, I will, I will be there. Not because I'm weak, not because I'm stupid, but because of the love that I have in my heart for him, it won't go nowhere. You can't block that love. You can't take it away. You know, so that's why I haven't even tried to force myself to get into a relationship with nobody. I haven't even tried to even think about getting in a relationship with nobody because, you know, I know for a fact I have to completely, completely say, hey, you know, Donna, you, 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 you got to have, because I know my next person is not going to want me, you know, having this much love and being able to, you know, say something good you know i'm gonna always have something good to say about him even when i had bad to say about him there's a lot of good to say about him but you know anyway y'all i want to just tell y'all that because y'all been asking and asking me how do i really feel about it and i don't want to keep telling y'all you know well i don't want to talk about it i don't want to do this i don't want to do that out of every person that i have ever been with you know that is the person that i have loved the most that is the person that i have shared with so much that i shared the most with we build so much and he's still my family at the end of the day, we're going to be family. So, of course, if he need me, I'm going to be there. Of course, if he need me, I'm going to be there. And vice versa, I'm pretty sure if I ever needed him, he would be there. But, you know, his pride is too big. My pride is too big. So, I can't never say, I'm going to call on him and ask him anything. I used to call and ask for his opinion. I used to want his opinion so bad. Like, what I should do? What's this? What's that? But, you know, his pride and my pride... It, it gets in between us even having um, a friendship because, you know, if I let, let my guard down, I feel like I'm stupid and dumb and I'm pretty sure he's not going to let his guard down. So, you know, it makes us, you know, just sometimes it, 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 it just make the situation not right. It just make it not right. But anyway, I love y'all, my LJC family, always and forever. And at the end of the day, I thank y'all once again. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to give y'all what y'all want. And I love y'all always and forever. And until next time, my LJC family, peace. No, be blessed. <laughs>